and here are some interviews and out clips and bloopers and these are especially very special to us because Marion Harrington is now no longer with us and Gerald Harrington is rapidly passing away and so this is a memory of them. A very funny outtakes and deleted scenes and some behind the scenes look that were used while filming the day and actually no we don't have any for the day and just struck that way. We have a lot of undele of deleted scenes and um, behind the scenes looks at um, Alone in the Dark and a lot of bloopers from that. And then we have some behind the scenes looks and bloopers from um, Lake of the Undead. So here you go and I hope you all enjoy it. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to have to give that some real serious thought because when I was younger, I wasn't afraid of the dark as much as I am now. I really, I've been through some of those Disney World dark tunnels, and it's kind of scary. I might be able to do it with for the right price. We have to see what the script is like. Yeah, I'll have to read the script over and see if it's not too hard to memorize and learn because I know I'm on a limited basis here. My stay is very short. Okay. Very short, but that's that's usual because we usually film very tight schedules for movies. Yes. Yeah, the schedules aren't quite often. And what do you think about the um the the fan reaction to your roles in the other movies that you've been in? Well, they've been quite favorable. We, we commandeered some laughs, and people thought, I suppose we were a little crazy and then kind of a little bit farther out, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. You, know. you have to be flexible in this day and age. So you will be more than willing to reoccur a role in this new movie, maybe, if the script and price is right. I have to read the script over and price. Yeah, that makes a difference. Yes, because production it's, goes same. Everything is geared on money these days. Most people realize it. <laughs> this is just interview material, you know, supplemental material after the movie for the home video version. We're just asking you, Marion, after starring in some of your other films for us, <laughs> um, are you thinking of coming back into this movie alone in the dark? <laughs> I'm gonna <call> call. <laughs> well, that's why this is impromptu because it's no, just... I wouldn't want to come back alone. <laughs> no, I mean, will you be in the movie alone in the dark? Maybe thinking about it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be alone in the dark. <laughs> so you're you're considering being in the movie. Well, anything's possible. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a very scary movie, mind you. Well, I might be able to handle it. Okay. You see yourself there? Yes, I can. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> okay. Well, and what about your fan base? I understand you've had so many fans that you've actually had a stalker trying to hound you down and get a hold of you in person because they're such a big admirer of your work. What was that all about? I, I read about it in the Inquirer. Well, my fans are dwindling. They're so old that they're dying, one by one. That is terrible. This doctor, I haven't seen him lately. Okay. <laughs> well, this is this is kind of like a a pre a pre thing right now because we're going to introduce you to the storyline of Alone in the Dark, and you can tell me what you think of it and can start production as soon as possible because I don't know how long your stay is but if it's short we need to get going eventually on it. And now some of the funniest outtakes that our family finds on the planet.
I love how Grandpa becomes the director. I love it. I love it. I would like to add that we will love and cherish you forever and always, um, Marion and Jerry Harrington. And if anyone would like to watch any of these full videos in their entirety, please email me at my email address below. Have a great day, everyone.